previously on the Never Stop Tour. I don't smell the salt in the air anymore. It's looking a little bit more rural. We haven't really targeted bass this trip. Got him. I got one. You got one. <laughs> Turn real oh. quick and get you. Did he get you? Ah. You good? Ah. Did he really? Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay? Peric and I have hit the road. It has officially begun. Mile marker zero. And this is gonna be our, our life for the next month. On the road, on a specific route, headed north, fishing all the water in between here and there. Doesn't matter if it's fresh water, doesn't matter if it's salt water, doesn't matter if it's 200 pounds, doesn't matter if it's one inch. This is an open book from here on out. We've got some species we obviously going to target, but we're, we're keeping our, our, uh, our doors open for just about anything that Cross our path. All right, here's how I catch a 10 pounder. Ooh, got him! Got him! Big dude, big! Get the net, get the net, get the net! Fish, boys! Holy! Look at this, look at this, look at this, he's trying to eat, he's trying to eat, you got him! You got him! You got him! That was so sick! He just ate it, dude, he just ate it. Got him? Let's go, dude! Got him! Oh, get me! Another species down. <laughs> there she goes! Go, go, Let's go, baby! Woo. It's a great day to make hay. How's it going in here, buddy? Oh, pretty good. What are you looking for? Oh, you got what I'm looking for. You know, I want to check this out a little bit. What you got there? Oh. What is that? Where'd uh, you find that? This is mine. Well, no, it's not. Well, it whose has, name is on it? It has my name on it. Let me see. No, dude. I'll get you yours. Relax. I'll get you yours. Oh, it's an elite box. Let me see that. Calm down. I just want to look at no. it. No. Let me touch it. No. I'll get you your own. Stop that. Get that look out of your eyes. Here's yours. Dude. Oh, nice. I Here's yours, all right? Let's go, baby. Relax. I challenge you this morning to a good old-fashioned MTB slam. The rules of the MTB slam are you've got a box here. We're actually fishing with the elite box, and it's filled with goodies. Um, we've got a bunch of baits that we'll go over here in a second. But the loser of the slam, so whoever doesn't complete the slam, the punishment's gotta be good. Cause I'm already driving today, so that can't be the punishment. Cause I lost yesterday. Do something embarrassing, like go in the middle of an intersection, hold this on and say, I suck at fishing. Is that pretty good? That's good. Yeah. Get this, Mystery Tackle Box is sponsoring this episode of NS3. And with that, like Peric said, we're gonna compete a little 1v1 head to head. MTB slam, and this is how it's going to work. Each angler has a box full of baits. We're gonna set about a two hour timer to see who can catch the most fish on the most baits and clear the MTB slam challenge. Alex was one of the OG guys to do this back in the day. Probably no, I one. was the OG guy. He was the OG guy to do I it am, back in the day. I am him. He is the. I am him. We're gonna go hit up some Jacksonville ponds before we dip out of Florida completely. And uh, Peric and I are gonna go a little bit aggressive, a little bit of 1v1 action. Pretty good competitive, Stinky. It's not gonna be a competition. Mystery Tackle Box is an awesome way to receive a box full of bait sent to your house every single month. You've got different tiers of box and different types of box. If you're into panfish, they've got a box for that. If you're into bass, they've got a box for that. If you like saltwater fishing, guess what? There's a box for that. If you guys wanna check out Mystery Tackle Box and support Never Stop 3, click the link down below and use our code NS3 to save 15% off at checkout. Some great stuff. We've been working with Mystery Tackle Box for quite some time now. Great people, great baits, amazing boxes. Let's go catch some fish. On our favorite little satellite mapping feature, we noticed that there's a pond behind some houses over there. And uh, just chatting with the neighbor, saw he had a boat, saw he had a redfish license plate. So that's always a good, good sign that he could be a fisherman. And he said there's a lot of turtles in there, but there could be some bass. So we're just gonna start 
there. You know, it's like wake up, roll out of bed, take a couple casts. Here we go. MTB challenge starts now. First one to complete the box gets the W. Let's crank. First pond we stopped off at, which is right by the Airbnb. It's little, tiny, it's dirty. I am seeing some little fish, but we may make a move here a little bit. What do you say, get out of here, Alex? Go find a new water? Yeah, lovely. Okay. On the way to the next spot. I haven't done an MTB slam in quite some time, and I'm glad to be doing it with Perry because we were probably two of the most competitive individuals when we link up. I'm not a competitive angler, but if I'm fishing against Perry, then there will be blood. There will be blood, tears, sweat, guts. Pain. Pain. Sorrows. Emotions. Emotions will be had. Regret. Definitely regret. Yeah. Let's try that spot right there. Right there. Right so here? Yeah. Take, take it right in like okay. 10 feet. There you go. Yep. Like right here? Yeah. That's perfect. Spot number two. Spotted off the road. There's a no fishing sign. That usually means it's good. Turn the there you go. I think carbon and snow count too. Yeah. First fish of the day, carved right in front of Alex. Ooh, that was dirty, man. Feels good to get one on you. The good thing about this is I actually used two baits in my box. I used the 10,000 fish saw craw, which is like a, it's like a four inch soft plastic craw bait and like a black and blue. And I also used the five inch stick bait hook that came in the box. So that's two, two box items down for me. There we go, let's get buddy unhooked. First fish of the day, doing some Florida pond hopping. One of my favorite things to do ever. See you later, buddy. Thank you for biting. It's a decent fish. Maybe he'll bite your popper, dude. Got him warmed up for you. All right, my next bait that I'm gonna try to knock out is this weedless bull shad. This is a collaboration effort between Catch Co. and Mike Buka over at uh, Buka Baits. This is a really cool rendition of the OG bull shad, which is a really awesome tiny swim bait that Alex and I used on NS2. This is an awesome little bait for Florida specifically because it's got that same action as the baby bull shad, but it's weedless, so we can run it through a lot of these grassy ponds that are here in uh, northern Florida. Let's see if I can get bit. Perrick's already scurried off. I thought he's getting kind of nervous. What the? What the? What the? Got him. Yes. And that knocks out that bait. I ran over here, saw this fish busting. It was incredible how this fish was like just destroying minnows on the surface. I thought it was a five pounder, but put that little Z-man on back of the tightrope spinner mate. I'm gonna take it off so John doesn't know I did that. And that is fish number one for me. Two baits knocked out, going back. New spot, let's keep moving. Did that other pond? Cool. This next spot's a little bit bigger. We probably could fish it sort of fast. I've got the tight ropes spinnerbait tied on, and then I've also got that uh, three and three quarter inch fluke that's in there on an underspin. And I think if these clouds roll in, I might tie on that bios pump popper. I'm about to knock some stuff out. Let's 
Let's go. Let's go. Come here. Oh, my Jesus. I just sniped Barrick. He saw a fish. He didn't say anything, but I could tell he saw a fish. So I made a cast right before he could. I don't know if this is the one he was looking at, but it's a dinky little largemouth on another MTB item on the little three and three quarter inch fluke. Let's go. It's not a very big fish, but counts, right? Just shaking his head. That's three down for me. Thank you. There she goes. Oh, acrobatic. What do you think, Al? There we go, just spooking the fish again. Hey, nice you're heinous, bro. You're disgusting, you're disgusting. That's some disgusting stuff right there. The sportsman and you, you've got nothing. You don't mean that, Alex. No. You wouldn't be saying that if you were winning. You wouldn't be, no, I wanna follow you. This is a Never Stop Tour featuring John and AP. Not just John. What do you see, what do you see? The thing about John, dude, he's, he's, you know, he doesn't have very good vision, so he easily could have stepped over some fish here. Go. This ain't it. This ain't it. Well, spot number three, not so great. There are going to be some zones where we pull off to on the side of the road and realize that they're just not it. A couple little bass in here, but emphasis in a little. Caught one fish. Still counts regardless. Still in the lead. Let's go. Can you wait for me? Nope. There we go. We're on our way out to the next spot. I saw bass cruising in the super clear water through the little three inch fluke in there and he crushed it. I've already caught a fish on this lure, but Perrick doesn't know that. He's all the way over there. He probably thinks I just caught that on the spinnerbait. So now he's getting really nervous. I'm gonna play a little mental game with him. Decent little bass, much bigger than the last one. This makes a little bit more sense to count. It's over 12 inches and actually a pretty decent, healthy Florida LMB. Thank you for biting, Jimmy. Whew. Oh, oh well, another fish for the slam. Somehow, Perry got the gates open for this residential pond. Definitely 150% not supposed to be in here. I don't know how you hit that, but Perry's got, Perry hacked into the mainframe of this neighborhood. He shut down their security system. They're on full lockdown right now, so that we have at least 30 minutes to fish these ponds. This doesn't look that good though, to be honest with you. Dude. See how long it takes for them to catch on and realize we're not supposed to be here. I don't I don't know how we just got into a gated community. That's insane. Oh my god, dude, it's a... Just came off. What, what was that? Sorry. Oh, we didn't trespass. Uh, no, our, my, our friend does. He told us to come fish it. We're, I, I, we didn't see a sign, and he said it was fine, too. That's why we're confused. Okay, are you calling the cops or no? Oh. 
Oh, here. No fishing? No fishing. Got it. Okay. Why is that my chance? I don't know. I can't fish there. You can't fish. Got it. Got it. Got it. Just see, it just seems weird, you know. It's like, who, who really cares? Are we well, done? What? Dude, that was this place is stupid. I can tell you right now, this place is dumb. I just hooked like a four pounder, and there was like two others with him. Well, buddy John, I guess he said we can fish here, but she said we can't, and he said we can't. But they both said they weren't calling the cops. That's well, kind of the legality of the situation here. I'm telling you right now, this place is loaded. I took one cast of the spinnerbait. I know, just I have more with this really? Problem. What do we do here? We could go to the other side and see if somebody yells at us. Okay, yeah. <laughs> God damn Why do you keep fire people so weird? Now to this. I don't even know how you got up there, dude. I'm part monkey. This is a better idea. Okay, hopefully there's fish here. Watch this not even be a gated community. Does it look good on the other side? Yeah, it looks really good. At that, at the very least. Maybe. I can see dry. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Here, hop down, I'll hand it to you. This isn't gonna last long. <laughs> we just killed a 10 foot wall to come in here. And now every neighbor is looking at us like, what are you guys doing? But uh, yeah, no bites yet. Hey Alex, I'll be honest with you. I haven't even seen a single bass. <laughs> we got poison ivy, poison oak, oh, poison oh. palm. Poison, yeah. Poison palm for sure. Pond that Perry had us fish. We walked through Jurassic Park to get there. We hopped this fence, which is a pretty big fence. I'm also out of shape. So we hopped this fence and we're thinking, okay, we're not gonna go back the way we came because it's full of alligators and ticks. So we walked down a bit and Perrick actually wanted to jump over on this side of the fence. What we didn't realize is there was a collision repair shop for cars. And all along this fence that we would have hopped over, is 7,000 volts straight electricity. So when we would have hopped over, we would have grabbed onto that or touched it, and it would have, it would have sent a shiver down our spines for sure. Not only did that pond suck, and you drug us through a literal rainforest, but your plan of escape would have ended in us getting fried like a piece of burnt toast. That would have been it. I think we would have stopped Never Stop 3 in Florida. Got one. Nice one. Nice one. On the crank. Oh no. Oh no. Got a nice one. It's a big one. It's a, yeah. Yeah, baby. That right there is exactly the fish we're looking for. We've had lots of unsuccessful ponds. And uh, we just pulled up this one and I decided to throw the crankbait out. And we smashed my biggest fish of the day so far. I'm gonna get it right back. I might be able to pull this off. Got her, got her, got her. Good one. Get on the bank, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Good fish, good fish. That is Fish number three, bait number four for me. Caught that on the tightrope spinner bait. My biggest bass today. It's a quality fish. Came off of a bed, believe it or not. I'm happy to get kind of creative. I didn't think there'd be any bedding bass this late in the season down here in Florida, but 
Apparently there's some left. That's probably about a nice like three pounder. Really good fish. And I'm beating Peric. That's all that matters. Thank you. Let's go. Back she goes on her bed. Thank you, old girl, for biting. This is a tight game. I really needed to knock out the spinnerbait. I, I could have knocked it out earlier, but I dumped so many fish. It's all good, regardless. We're four baits deep. A couple more to go. Let's keep eating. What'd you catch it on, John? Don't worry about it. Yes! And that right there is on the catch co craw with the penetration hook and a little bullet weight. That is two points, so now I'm up to five points. Ooh. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's insane. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm on, I'm on. I'm on. Yep. I'm on. Yeah, that is a good one. Come here. Oh my God, dude, this is a nice one. Oh, there's two of them. There's three of them. There's four of them. Holy sh dude, there's so many. There's so many. Oh my God. Don't lose them. Don't lose them. Don't lose them. There's so many fish over here, dude. Holy hell. Dude, I saw them schooling earlier. I was like, how do I get those fish? Come here, come here four pounder let's freaking go Woo! we were about to leave and i stuck this absolute giant on the robo pop crushed the top water midday here in the heat of florida how lucky is that <laughs> it's tie game now cuz unreal wow that is probably my biggest bass of the trip right there and it just so happened to go down during the MTV slam. These Florida bass, they do not mess around. Thank you, old girl. You just made this, you just made this game a hybrid. Holy hell. <laughs> Caught that on Peric's rod and Peric's bait from his box. Mm. Oh, so that means, what was your color in your box? It was like some other like, it was like a shad color. It doesn't count. <gasps> Does it not? No way. Is that like section 284 rule number 36 hey, of the me. MTV Slam? Because you're, oh, because you, wait, I don't know if you guys know this, look but Alex is the guy. Look at me, look at me. I'm the captain. <laughs> I am the captain. Oh, you got one following you, you got one following you. Just kidding. Just kidding, you suck. <laughs> that was the luckiest I've ever seen. That was literally he the- throws his popper. <laughs> We're about to leave. Pops it twice and a five pounder comes up and eats it. Like, I've been throwing that popper all day. This is the first lure I started with, and I haven't got a single bite on it. I got a question for you. In your uh, mystery tackle box, did you get some tissues in there? Because it seems like you're doing an awful lot of crying. Let's end it somewhere else, wipe the slate clean. It's five to five tie game. Look at me. Look, hey, look at me. Three. Two, one. Oh, mine died. Oh, there it is. 30 minutes? Okay. Once it says 30 minutes, we're done. We're done. Okay. Deal. Well, we both suck at fishing. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. <laughs> yeah. What'd she say? Did you lose a bet? Yep. <laughs> ah, it kind of feels good to be uh, to be noticed. Yep, we suck. We are terrible at fishing. We are the worst anglers in all of Jacksonville. We fished 12 ponds today and caught four bass. Four bass in the entire entire city of Jacksonville. Feast your eyes on our suckiness. Well, buddy, it's official. We both suck at fishing. Fair enough, Ty. 
Fair enough. It was uh, a grueling MTB slam. I thought it would honestly go a lot smoother, but I guess these lakes are harder than I thought. Regardless, it's our last day in Florida. I'm gonna miss this state. It's been kind of the crown jewel of Never Stop 3, but the cool thing is we have so many other fishing destinations and species to chase after. I mean, we've already gotten pulled over by FWC. We've gotten kicked out of ponds. We've caught a tarpon. A parrot got bit by a shark. So much has already happened just in one state. And I have a feeling that it's probably gonna get even crazier. So we're bidding farewell to Florida. It was a nice little ending cap there, getting uh, harassed by the local traffic. What do you think, bud? Hit the road? Let's hit the road. That was fun. That was fun. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of funny that we've had three challenges, one, one, and then this was a tie. I don't think we've ever tied. No. We've always it like kept weird. it going. It felt weird to tie, but man, we did give it another 30 minutes at that pond and Nothing. no bites. So. Nothing. Uh, we got we got a drive ahead of us. I'm behind the wheel because of yesterday's challenge. Thank God. And uh, we'll catch you guys in another state. Before we hit the road, I want to give a huge shout out to our friends over at Mystery Tackle Box and Catch Co for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are interested in signing up for Mystery Tackle Box and want to get a box full of juicy baits sent to your doorstep every single month, check the link down below. Use our code NS3 to save. 15% off your first order. Check that link. They support the channel, and by supporting them, you support us. Now let's hit the road. something. You all right? Did you get a big one? Oh my god, it's smelly. Jesus Christ, this one's, this one is so ugly. Oh, it came off. Damn. What do you think, bud? You want to go fishing today, or? Yeah, I don't think I have to go very far. I want to go fishing with you, but I guess I'll just fish for you. You take a cash yet? Big old, no, I'm waiting for you. Sleepy head. This guy. Big naps. If he, at any point in this tour, tells you that he's gotten before me, it's a complete outright lie. Good morning from Georgia. We finally made it out of Florida. It's sad to say goodbye to probably one of the best fishing states that I've ever had the pleasure of experiencing, but it's time to open up a new chapter. We are never stopping on the Never Stop Tour, and that means we're going to fish as many states as we possibly can. The next state is Georgia. We woke up this morning to an amazing view. We're like right on the edge of the marsh, the salt marsh right now. There's no better way to wake up than to see some Spanish moss hanging from the trees, hearing the birds chirp and kind of sing you awake. But all that aside, one thing that really stood out to me after pulling up this Airbnb is the little pond that it comes with. I walked down there this morning, eyes all groggy, looked on the water's edge, and I noticed there's not only bluegill, but bass in this pond, and the Airbnb host gave us permission to fish. While Peric is slowly getting ready, I'm gonna pull out a little fly rod and see if we can get the day started off with a little bang. I got my four weight, some floating mono, a little hopper, Let's see if we can catch some fish. Come on, let's go. There we go, that's it right there. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> what do we have here? What do we have here? Oh my gosh, dude, look at this bluegill. New species for Never Stop. Bluegill was one of the first fish I ever caught as a kid. I was four years old. 
this species right here was the gateway drug that got me hooked into what is now an obsession. And still to this day, I love chasing after bluegill, especially on the fly. What a beautiful fish. Oh. Oh, oh, it's a bass. That's a bass. Oh my gosh. That's a bass on the little four weight. <laughs> Dude, no way. Oh, it's a good one too. It's a good little large run. Oh my God, there's a big one right below him. Oh my gosh, there's some big bass in here. That's like a four pounder right below him. Of course, I got the little one. There's something so fun and pure about catching a, a large mouth bass on a fly. Come here, I got you. Decent little southern LMB. Wow, so cool, dude. Come here. Come here. Whew. That is amazing. Came out here just for a little fun fly fishing with bluegill and ended up catching a bass before Parrick has even taken a shower this morning. This little busy bass back into the pond. Wow. So much fun. This brings me back to being a kid again. Just walking down to a bank of a pond, throwing a little fly around, catching some bluegill and bass. These are my roots right here. This is so much fun. And what an awesome way to start day number, I don't even know, but we're in Georgia. So first day in Georgia, what an awesome way to start it. Oh, <laughs> is that another bass? No, it's not a bluegill. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god, big large mouth tried to eat my bluegill. Wow. Wow. Definitely gonna have to throw the glide later. Holy hell. God, look at the size of that gill. These are actually, I believe, copper nose, and they get their name because of that little copper looking scale pattern just above their eyes. They get pretty big. I actually have a couple of these in my pond back in Texas. They, they do well in the southern climate, and they are a lot of fun to catch, especially on the little fly. Oh, is that a trout? Yeah. No like way. All rainbows. No way. Yeah. Look at it. Oh, the Georgia yeah. rainbow trout. <laughs> what? The blue chip. Is it? Oh, shoot. I've been calling them rainbow trout the whole time. Oh, we, we got to cut all that out, my bad. Ooh. Oh! I'm, I'm, I'm walking away from this. Let's see if we can get one of these big bass to bite. I just had one chase in my bluegill and almost eat him whole, but the bluegill was too big, so with the bass chasing bluegill in here, I'm gonna throw a bluegill blood. About dang time. Uh, oh, it's a largie. My first fish in the morning on the fly ride in this pond. Nothing gets old catching fish on the fly. It's like uh, line, straight line technique. And uh, gonna put her back. Thanks, John, for letting me use your fly rod. Oh, I could have, yeah, I was thinking about that. There was a couple that I could have. The bass is plenty, plenty big enough to eat like a five inch bluegill. Oh my God. Did you see that? <laughs> I know. He's still on it. He's still on it. Look at, they're both looking at it. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him, baby. That was so dirty. That was so dirty. Oh. <laughs> that was so sick. There's two of them on it too. I caught the smaller one, of course. Wow, we really didn't have to do much this morning to uh, catch a couple fish. We're already probably 10 fish deep and I really went to sleep probably 10 yards from where we're catching them. That was fun. Nothing like a nice glide eater to start the morning. Decent fish. Get them back. This was such a pleasant start to our first day in Georgia. We're not gonna spend too much time here. We uh, 
as you know, have 30 days to film this whole series, which may seem like a lot, but there's a lot of states on this tour, and we're probably gonna try to fish as many, if not all, as we possibly can. But at least we can say we're we're not leaving Georgia empty-handed. We might uh, we might actually go chase some fish in the march here in a bit, but a little bit of pond fish in the morning with the fly. It's a decent way to, to get your day ripped off. But we're getting things packed up here, heading on our way. Georgia so far has been pretty sweet to us. Let's see what else we can uh, get ourselves into. At a local diner grabbing some food. Getting set and fueled up for a little bit of fishing. We got pretty lean plans today. Caught some pond fish and I think we're Gonna transition and try to see if we can possibly hit the marsh for some Georgia redfish. It'd be cool if we did some fresh water and some salt water all in one day. But we're looking at the map right now, seeing where we can launch. We've got a couple of decent options here. For the most part, this is gonna be a shot in the dark though. I've never fished Georgia, let alone saltwater fished it, but I do know the redfish can be good. I've been catching some nice trout on the on that side of the nice. little uh, on the inside? Yep. Yeah. Okay, inside. sweet. And that creek right there is also pretty decent. Well, that's cool. I'm, I'm glad that's, that's a decent spot to watch. It's pretty crazy down here, man. Like, it's it so is. Well. It is. If y'all want somebody to get on the boat with you, let me know. That was awesome. Shout out to Walt for uh, giving us some intel. Just, it's crazy. We could literally be in a small town in, in the middle of Georgia and still meet one of you guys. He was really nice. He gave us some pointers. I was actually looking at a ramp, which I guess is right across where some good redfish are. So we're going to chew this up, eat fast hop in the boat and try to see if we can crush a redfish before we head out of Georgia tonight. Are we leaving Georgia tonight? Is that the plan? The only plan I have is to keep on eating as much food oh as I god. can. Oh my god, useless. I don't know if you guys remember, the last time we used the boat, we uh, ran it out of gas pretty much, so. We'll get some gas, get some ice, and we'll be back to slaying some ass. a little breezy over here. We might keep driving, we might not. Look down to see if I could see any redfish. And uh, no redfish, but a nice dolphin. Oh, he's getting fish. Oh. Looks like he's fishing himself. He's, he's using the shallows to push up bait. This place is so wild. The salt is just such a wild place. See you later, bud. Take care. Looks like the tide is a bit, uh, you know, it's still pretty low here, so we got probably another hour until it starts to come in. We're gonna go to a little bit cleaner river up north more that we, we're looking at. We're not really set on an area where we have to fish in Georgia, but uh, we definitely want to catch some something other than blue eels and bass, I'd say. Do you find a map or you can find one real quick? Or a ramp? I sent you a pen in your text messages. Tell me what you think of that. Is that what you're talking about? That's like way up the river. You guys need help? Well, we're uh, doing our good deed of the day. Thank you, I yeah. appreciate it. No worries. Not recording, oh my god! Yeah. We're making a YouTube video. Oh my god, it's recording! <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no yeah. worries. Well, stuck at a stop sign. There's our boat just blocking up the road. And uh, that was interesting. We got to the stop sign, the car in front of us wasn't moving. We're like, what's going on? and uh, they just needed some help, so we helped them. Hopefully that good deed today rewards us somehow, hopefully through the form of a nice, chewy, giant redfish. We're about 30 minutes in the spots, we'll meet you guys there. We 
weren't filming for too much of that, but we're fishing a marsh that is just on the edge of the Atlantic here in Georgia. We've never been here before. We have no idea what lives in these waters other than the fact that there could be redfish and there could be two anglers that are about to catch some redfish. So fingers crossed, let's make it happen. This feels awfully redfishy. Two hours in, zero redfish. Should we turn around? Might have to turn around. You might be able to cut through. It looked like it was all the way there. That was, all right. That was fun. We, uh, we're really good at getting ourselves in a predicament. And uh, we've done so. Luckily in Georgia, it's pretty soft, so. I said, luckily in Georgia, it's pretty soft. Pretty soft down here. At least where we're at. It's soft. It's very soft. are looking pretty grim for Alex and I. We have, I mean, made it to the very back of the marsh. We're tucked away behind these trees, hidden from the wind, and it's not looking good. I think it would be a miracle at this point. Peric and I somehow managed to trick or dupe a redfish. Regardless, we had to try it out. This whole series is about continuing to fish and never stop. Even if it means us aimly blindly casting into an area of dead marsh that we've never fished before in our entire lives. Catastrophic failure. Perrick, how many miles did we do in the boat? Beep boop bop bop beep boop boop. Uh, based on my calculations <laughs> with the mile per gallon that a mercury gets and how many gallons I put into the boat today, we did about 75 miles. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's what it felt like. <laughs> how many did you do? I don't know, what am I at? Seven? Oh, uh, yeah. Let's call that eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, come on, 13, give me 20, 14, 15, 16, 17, 8, 19, 20, that's what's up, keep going, 28, 29, give me 30, 30, 31, oh, he's not stopping, 32, 33, 34, come on, ah, oh. <laughs> that was pretty good, dude, that was pretty good, ah, well, I think at this point, we're out of Georgia, we caught a new species, that being a copper nose. And we caught some decent fish this morning. It was cool. It's not really how we planned on fishing this place, but Eric and I have never, ever laid foot in this state and made a cast until today. So all things considered, it went about how it probably should have been. We'll meet you guys in the room.
Let's go, baby. We are hooked up. No way. Let's freaking go.